Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how I do my front post, back post, double crochet. And I did a couple extra things too. This one here is made with the H hook or five millimeter. I did another sample that has the J hook six millimeter. So can you see those two side by side? How the stitch gets a little bigger. And then I went one step further and did it with an N hook. And um, this, it has the same outcome, but I think this would be great for a cowl which are so popular right now, a cowl scarf or a regular scarf, or the, um, the boot cuffs that are really popular. And, you know, of course, any type of blanket. And these two, I think, would be neat for headbands and uh, projects that would be tighter. I think it'd be fun to make them the same size, but then switch and then use different colors, switch, use different colors. But I just wanted to show you the three swatches, same stitch, same yarn, just different hooks. So for today's demonstration, let's go ahead and use the J hook because it's in the middle. And we're gonna do a slip knot. And you're going to chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll just do a small uh, demonstration. You chain however big you want your project to be. You're gonna yarn over, skip that first stitch, and do just a regular double crochet. So you're gonna go through two, go through two. Yarn over, Go into your next stitch, go through two, yarn over, next stitch, go through two and two. So yeah, however long it is, you just double crochet all the way across back to your first chain. And here we are. Now, if you guys want to tuck in your ends, like I like doing, so you don't have to worry about it later, add that end in there. And now drop your end. You can go ahead and cut it. And let's chain two. So I'm just going to cut it now because it's ready and we're over it. Okay, turn your work. Now in our double crochets, Let's start with a front post. Then we're going to move to back post. Front post. Back post. So you're going to go behind the stitch, pull through. Okay, now we have our original chain, right? We ended with a back post, so I'm going to go in front of it, double crochet, and two. Okay, so now um, this is a front post to us, so we're going to make it a back post. So that's what kind of gives us the weave type pattern. And see how that one is a back post? We're going to change it into a front post. So you just do opposite all the way back. That's a front post. Now we're going to do a back post. Front post.
So now this one's going to be a back post. So yarn over, go behind it, pull that through, double crochet, chain two, and turn your work. So now it's a back post, we're going to do a front post. So again, alternating all the way, back post, front post. It's kind of waffly or weavy looking, but it's a great stitch and it really helps to keep you on track, your stitches even because you're going to notice big time. So that was in the back. Double crochet, chain two, and turn. And you can go as far as you want, make it as big as you want. If you want to do little squares, chain around here. Um, when I'm making samples too, I thought I'd let you guys know, I try to make them kind of the same size because sometimes I make like scrappy bags or scarves and just out of different samples and miscellaneous. So then they're all the same size and it makes it real easy for you to attach. And it's, uh, I usually don't do it in the same color. It's different colors and multi scrappy things. And uh, yeah, so I hope that helps you learn how to do the front post, back post, double crochet, works up really quick and it's a really nice look. Thanks for watching guys. Happy crocheting.